Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Seth from Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds, and this week we are heading to Modern to not just play Garth One-Eyed, but try to go infinite with Garth One-Eyed, our new Modern Horizons 2 Mythic, so let's talk about glittering Garth, jump into some games, see if we can actually pull off the combo. Alright, so here is our glittering Garth. Deck. And of course, build around Garth One-Eyed. Garth, you can't play fairly just for value to make some Black Lotuses and Shivan Dragons and Terrors, whatever you need. It makes a whole bunch of different sweet stuff, but it's against odds. We're not playing Garth fairly. We're trying to go infinite with Garth. So how do you combo with Garth? Step one, give it haste. For this, we have Teamer Ascendancy. Step two, Deadeye Navigator. Soul Bond it with the Garth. That lets us blink either creature for one in a blue. This does two big things with Garth. First, when we blink Garth, it resets its choices. Normally, you can only choose a card once with Garth. So you can't just go Black Lotus, Black Lotus, Black Lotus, Black Lotus. Well, if you blink something, it's a new version. You can choose anything you want. It also untaps Garth. So the combo is we get these three pieces on the battlefield. We tap Garth, make a Black Lotus. We sack it for three blue. We use two blue to blink Garth. Then we make another Black Lotus. So every time we do that, we're gaining one extra mana. So eventually we'll just have hundreds of Black Lotuses hanging out on the battlefield. At that point, we can make infinite Shivan Dragons with haste from Teamer Ascendancy and attack a win or make our opponent draw their entire deck with Brain Geyser and win that way. The other key piece of the stack is Glittering Wish. Glittering Wish grabs a multicolor card from our sideboard. You probably noticed. Only three Garth, three Teamer Ascendancy in the main. That's because the other copies chilling in the sideboard to get with Glittering Wish, which essentially gives us seven copies of our key combo pieces. We can't grab Deadeye Navigator because it's not multicolored, but we can get an Ladrami's Call, which then can tutor up Deadeye Navigator in our deck. Otherwise, some more good multicolor stuff. General Ferris nice backup plan works really well with Teamer Ascendancy since Teamer Ascendancy cares about 4 Force. General Ferris makes 4 Force. We're getting these hasty golems that are drawing those cards. Omnath, Ren, and Six. They're good ramp. They're good for making our plan work. I was on the fence on whether I should include them because they're really powerful. Eventually, I decided I would rather be a dirty Omnath player who made infinite Black Lotuses with Garth than be a pure non-Omnath player who never got to see Garth go off. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Otherwise, a bunch of multicolor removal, some ramp to speed things up, a bunch of mana fixing lands, sideboard all tutor targets for glittering rish, and that is glittering Garth for modern. That's our good odds deck for this week, so let's jump into some games, see if it's possible not just to win with Garth, but make infinite black lotuses and shivin dragons and combo off with Garth. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Need some new Modern Horizons cards? Well, you can order them today from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com. Against the odds time, we are trying to make infinite black lotuses with, with Garth in modern, and we will see, we will see. So no Garth this hand, although Glittering Wish can get one. We actually kind of have the full combo. We'll see, we'll see if we live and see how much. All right, opponent's playing burn. That's probably a bad sign. Uh, opponent, uh, taxes the goblin guide. Top card is Indith a Triome. Well, we will play the Triome. Pass the turn. Discard Dead Eye Navigator. Sunbake Canyon. Suspends a Rift Bolt. Opponent did do some mulliganing, which could help. Lava Spikes to 15. Goblin Guide hits us to 13. 10, 8. Well, we'll see. Top card, Glittering Wish. Hmm. No. Nope. What if foothills? Crack, what if foothills? Overgrown Tomb. We could be dead. Glittering Wish. Get a Kaya's Guile. Go. Ooh, yeah, if we, if only we could have won the die roll. <laughs> Rift Bolt for our opponent. Gonna hit us. Down to seven, a virtual five. Opponent's got two cards in hand. Are they lethal? Goes to combat, hits us. Yeah, I mean, I don't even think we're gonna be able to resolve the Kaya's Guile. Actually, the basic land helps. Play the island, pass the turn. Discard a glittering wish. Kai is Guile. Opponent's Axe. We gain four. All right. Not dead yet. Opponent. Swift Spear. Hits us. Well, white, black, blue. Vindicate Swift Spear. 
white, green, blue, red. I'll play the trio. Pass the turn. Hopefully Omnath life gain will will stabilize us, and then we can find Garth and combo. Opponent. Passing. Well, white, green, red, blue. Omnath. And it, wow, okay. All right, well, <laughs> bonus scoops it up. We will accept. Bring in a couple Kaya's Guiles. Go down a couple Vindicates. And yeah, I guess we run it like that. All right, what does this hand offer? You know what? I think we keep this. We got the Utopia Sprawl, which is nice. We got Kaya's Guile if we can get to it. Ooh, okay. Huh. Well, Forest. Utopia Sprawl. I think think we go black to turn on Kaya's Guile, even though that is the worst color with our other cards. But this potentially just lets us snipe a creature. All right, Eidolon. Well, that worked out. So Temple Garden, untapped. Kaya's Guile. Opponent sacks, we gain four. So we get to stay at 20 and get rid of the Eidolon. Pass the turn. Oh, opponent. Arid Mesa, sure. Cracks it. Mountain and Alpine Moon. Oh, that's, that's fine. Uh -huh. That actually helps us. That might be the weirdest sideboarding choice I've ever seen. Okay, so our opponent upgrades our Temple Garden. Well, let's Glittering Wish. Probably just gonna have to get more life gain. Yeah, let's take Kaya's Guile. Steam Vent's tapped. It would be nice to grab Garth, but I feel like, I feel like we just gotta try to stay alive against Burn. And trust that Garth will, the Garth will come. Opponent, Sunbaked Canyon. Yeah, Alpine Moon. I guess maybe they're afraid we're a Golo stack and they're gonna name like Cascading Cataracts or the World Tree or something, but that is odd. Boros charms us, sure. Down to 16. I mean, given the choice, we'd like to get down a General Ferris and a Teamer Ascendancy opponent sacks to draw. Well, red, blue, green. Teamer Ascendancy. Olive Fountain tapped. Pass the turn. Land would be sweet. If we draw land, I think we can. Can we Ferris and Kaya's Guile? That would be, that would be a good turn. Fiery Islet, opponents. Drawing lots of lands, but we're still at 16, which is amazing. Opponent, Rift Bolt suspended. We could also just draw Garth. Garth would be, Garth would be great now. We have haste. So we can immediately Black Lotus. Lava spikes us to 13. Eidolons. Well, let's see if we draw land. If we draw land, we can rock her at Kaya's Guile. Omnath. Well, in that case, we will black, green, white, Kaya's Guile. Opponent sacks. We gain four. I mean, I feel like the way we win this is by not dying. <laughs> that might sound obvious, but, but I think that if we stay alive, we're going to find Garth eventually. So challenge one is just staying alive long enough to find our Garth. We're actually not super far away from trying to combo. We still need the Deadeye Navigator, but about it. It's us. And yeah, opponents drawn a lot of lands. At least, I guess, good news for them is they can turn two of them into new cards. Thankfully, we are at 12. Omnath might be a blowout for our opponent here. If we hit a land to gain four. I wouldn't be surprised if they scoop to the Omnath. Wow, okay. Well, make some mana. Omnath. And... Two, does it resolve? We get to draw two. Yes. And yes. Windswept Teeth. Crag Windswept Teeth. Get a Stomping Grounds. Untapped. Gain a bit of life. Make some mana. And opponent scoops it up. Okay, so we couldn't pull off the full combo, but we did manage to uh, to beat the burn deck. Well, goal not achieved though. The goal is infinite black lotuses, not to be burned with Omnath. So, well, I don't know the next one. Against the odds time, we are trying to combo off with Garth in Modern, and we got a Garth, that's something, perhaps, wait, just kidding, opponent, might be thought seizing our Garth, Inquisition to take our Utopia Sprawl, well, that does slow us down quite a bit, opponent passes, well, Triome go, opponent, Concealed Courtyard, Duthy Voidwalker, we draw. Teamer Ascendancy. Well, play a Plains and Glittering Wish. Unfortunately, this Voidwalker probably wins our opponent the game here. Um, we will take a Kaya's Guile past the turn. Like, if our opponent thought seizes, they can take and play the Garth for free, and then, and then I'm not sure how we overcome that. Marsh Flats cracks it. Godless Shrine. Untapped. Liliana digs it up. Well, we'll discard Teamer Ascendancy. Yeah, Voidwalker's blowout. Opponent goes attacking. It's us. Well, hollowed fountain untapped. Kaya's Guile. Get rid of Voidwalker, make a 1-1. One, one. But I think we're just Liliana locked here. Oh, opponent. Untaps. Godless Shrine. And Turok. 
All right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have to discard our entire hand. There's a Liliana that's going to ultimate, and uh, we cannot beat that. Well, um, run it back. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Heavy disruption decks like this. Probably going to be tricky. We will see. This might be one of those combos where we're... Oh, I hope we can pull it off. I hope we can pull it off once. Infinite Black Lotus combo would be spectacular if we can do it a single time. Well, no lands, no keep. I mean, this will keep. Misty, crack it. Get a breeding pool. Untapped. Birds of Paradise. Can you beat it? Uh, opponent. Conceal Courtyard kills the Birds of Paradise. Well, we will play a forest. Pass the turn. Opponent. Marsh Flats. Cracks it. Swamp. And passes. Wooded Foothills. Go. Opponent adapts. Liliana would be pretty bad for us. Turok. Thankfully no kicker, though. Well, Wooded Foothills. Get a white. We're gonna need red. Let's get the Savi Triome. Um, hmm. So green, red, blue, white. Well, let's fetch land, crack it. Get a plains. Blue, green, red, white. Omnath draw a card. Pass the turn. Can you kill the Omnath? Yes, they can. All right, opponent combat hits us. Well, we can put him to the test again. So if we get blue, blue, green, we need what? Black, red, wooded foothills, crack wooded foothills. Get a, so let's see, blue, black, green, white, red, steam vents, untapped. Blue, black, white, green, red. All right, Garth on the battlefield. Let's see if they draw an answer. Opponent attacks. Opponent thought seizes us. Takes Garth, grows the Turok. Goes to combat, passes. Cool, we're gonna get to activate and a vanishing verse. Well, the safest play is probably to make a Black Lotus. All right, let's Glittering Wish. Yes, for, oh, Vindicate would be sweet. We gotta make sure we don't die is a big thing. Maybe we just take Dovin's Veto. That does protect our Garth well. Yeah, take Veto, Garth, make a Black Lotus, play Black Lotus, pass the turn. Okay, I think we got a plan. Next turn, we can regrow the, the Omnath, and we have the Fetch Land. Well, Garth Activation 1, not bad, Kaya's Guile. Well, blue-white, definitely going to veto that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Opponent passes. Well, we will untap. We draw Swamp. So Garth for regrowth. Regrowth. Omnath. White, green. And eh, let's, let's take the Black Lotus. Get back Omnath. Green, white, red, blue. Play Omnath. Garth is kind of going off. Play Omnath. Draw a card. There's a Navigator 2. Land. Gain life. Crack land. Get a island. Make some mana. Deadeye Navigator. Soul Bond with Garth. All right, opponent. Let's see what you can do. Please don't wrath us. <laughs> opponent untaps. Oh. Two lands in a row. This means damn could easily be a thing. We already saw one this game. Godless Ride. Untapped. Looks like a damn to me. Ugh. Well, living up to its name. Fatal Push Om. Okay, no damn. Fatal Push Omnath. Well, no damn is good. Vindicates Garth. Well, come on. Good magic cards. Opponent. Pass it. Go to combat. Hit ya. Yeah, opponent had all the removal in the West. Opponent takes it. We will pass the turd. Oh, we were pretty close to comboing. Another land. Yeah, opponents managed to chain together a lot of lands to get back in this game as a Liliana. All right. So stuff getting worse by the literal second. Ticks down. Yeah, opponents got a lot of removal spells, I guess. Many, many removal spells. Opponent hits us. Down to 10. Boy, we had our three big cards, too. Our opponent just, they drew the lands finally and had every answer. Kill the Liliana. Well, we have many good draws. Misty Rainforest is not one of them. Play the Swamp past the turn. Opponent untaps. Goes to combat, hits us. Yeah, down to seven. Yastic yeah, just has a ridiculous amount of disruption. Opponent passes. Vindicate. Doesn't really do anything. We will pass the turn. Yeah, this pro white on Turek has been actually pretty impressive for our opponent. Opponent cracks the land draw guard. Untaps. Plays a land. Goes to combat. Hits us. Down to four. Has a batter skull. Well, come on. Good draw. Good draw, please. We draw Deadeye Navigator. Well, we can kill the batter skull. 
Deadeye Navigator is an important part of our combo, but it does not do anything unless we have additional cards about it. Untaps. Goes to combat. Does not attack for some reason. Passes. Well, we will draw more lands. Pass the turn. About it. Yeah, Garth is pretty resilient to removal against some decks, but not this one. Kaya's Guile vindicates Liliana's opponent, Kaya's Guile. Yeah, I mean, that probably does it. This Turok's gonna go all the way. Opponent plays a land, goes to combat, attacks. Well, we can Lightning Helix, the Spirit. I mean, we could play Dead Eye Navigator, but there is very close to a 0% chance that it actually lives. I mean, our opponents had these cards in hand. We have seen literally infinite removal. I mean, it would have died last turn to the Kaya's Guile. About it. Going to Strip Mine, sure. Gets a land, Vindicate, well... We'll fight to the bitter end. Deadeye Navigator, go. So if our opponent has any removal for Deadeye, then we're pretty much just dead. Yeah, the pro-white on this Turok has been shockingly relevant. Opponent, more Vindicates. Goes to combat. Uh, attacks. We draw. Wait, just kidding. Do the Voidwalker. Utopia's Brawl. Well, we didn't scoop early at least. Against that's time, we are trying to make infinite black lotuses. <laughs> With Garth the One-Eyed in Modern, and I mean, we'll keep this. We don't have a Garth, but we can tutor one up with Glittering Wish. We also got Ramp and Removal, which is nice. Oh boy, Arbor Elf. Okay, well, we'll see. How fast of a start is our opponent going to get off to? Well, Misty, crack it, get a Forest, Utopia Sprawl on Red. Well, this sets us up to ping down the Arbor Elf, hopefully, with Renin 6. Oh, is it Heliod? Heliod combo? Hmm. Okay. Spike Feeder. We can be infinite life, which is good. I'll play the trial. So if we Renin 6, kill this. Yeah, we're going to... We do lose our Renin 6, but we got enough action. Renin 6, kill the Arbor Elf. Play the Triome. Pass the turn. Uh, opponent, the noblest of hierarchs. I assume gonna kill Renin Six. Yeah, how we take it. Now, uh, lose our Renin Six. Temple Garden, untapped. White, green, red. Omnath, draw a card. We would love to find a fetch land. That would be the absolute best. Then we can kind of explode next turn with this Omnath. Opponent, Temple Garden tapped. Another spike feeder. Sure. One card in hand. Oh, come on, deck. Come on, deck. Show us that fetch land. Show us that fetch land. Opponent. Gonna go attacking. Well, and we're not going to uh, trade in our Omnath here. Down to 14. Opponent passes. So we don't have black mana at the moment. Huh. How do we die? They need Heliod and Walking Ballista. So if we Glittering Wish. Red, blue. All right, let's Glittering Wish for... Teamer Ascendancy. Steam Vents, untap, gain some life. Green, blue. Teamer Ascendancy. Oh, we are close. If we draw Fetch Land, I think we get to go infinite next turn. I think. This does require us not getting comboed off by our opponent. Opponent, gain some life, sure. Arbor Elf, that's fine. That doesn't kill us. And a land, okay. Okay, come on, Fetch Land. Come on, Fetch Land. This might finally be it. Opponent gonna hit us yeah 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 we will take it come on deck come on deck give us that fetch land rockerick that's not a fetch land now well, let's glittering wish for what um let's take deafening clarion pass the turn oh no if we if we end up losing this i'm gonna be so 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 sad all we need is a fetch land yeah we will pass the turn opponent untaps what do they find? Goes to combat. Hits us. Sure. We take it. Down to eight. Opponent passes. Deafening Clarion. Two modes. Opponent. Gonna put a gutter on Spike Feeder. We'll hit you. Gain back some life. Opponent. Skyclave Apparition. Gets the Omnath. All right. Well, now we need more than a fetch land. Although we still also do need a fetch land. Opponent hits us. Well, Omnath. Draw two cards. Can we hit a land? Yes, please, we will draw Lightning Helix. All right, Misty, gain some life. Crack Misty, Overgrown Tomb, untapped. Make some mana, Garth, draw a card, and pass the, actually, no, we make a Black Lotus. Make a Black Lotus. The Black Lotus means we can cast Lightning Helix if we have to. Otherwise, I think we got the combo for next turn. Like, as long as we, oh! 
opponent scoops it up. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we... I mean, we have it. We have the combo. Unfortunately, our opponent scooped before we could see it. All we gotta do is play Deadeye Navigator, put it with Garth. We can use the Black Lotus, infinite blanks, infinite Black Lotuses, eventually mill you out with, with, uh, with the Garth. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Well, I mean, that's, that is a win. That is a win. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get to see it. We only saw one Black Lotus, but that is, that is the combo. The only reason we didn't get to see the combo is that our opponent scooped before we could show it. Um, <laughs> do we want to change anything? Could bring in another, like, Kaya's Kyle, maybe? Go down a, what? Glittering Wish? Yeah, let's try it like that. Well, I hope we actually get to see the combo fully go off, but that does, I think that does count. Well, okay. I kind of like this hand. We got the Teamer Ascendancy. The challenge is going to be managing our mana, I think. Opponent. Marsh Flats. Passes. Well, Misty Rainforest. Crack Misty Rainforest. Temple Garden. Untapped. Birds of Paradise. Go. Yeah. Opponent. Temple Garden. Sure. Wooded Foothills. Opponent. Passing. Well, Wooded Foothills. Crack it for a forest. So white, green. Utopia Sprawl on blue. Utopia Sprawl on red. Teamer Ascendancy. Opponent, Temple Garden tapped. Well, this could be a hasty Garth next turn. Opponent, what do you got? Planes. Okay, Skyclave. So, not hasty Garth. We can still play Garth, though. Which, I mean, I think we're going to. Opponent doesn't have any combo pieces yet, which is nice. Ren and six. Well, black, white, blue, green, red. Garth the one-eyed. Windswept Heath. Go. All right, opponent. Can you kill the Garth? Pendlehaven, sure. Collected company. The good news is, wow, okay. Our opponent scooped it up. Well, we didn't get to see the full combo, although that was a Garth win. Like, Garth was the card that won us that game, won us this match. So, I mean, we got to see the Garth power, although I really want to see infinite black lotuses hit the battlefield. Mm, 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 mm. We'll keep trying. <laughs> All right, on to the next. Uh, Against the odds time, we are trying to combo off with Garth One-Eyed in, in Modern. Infinite Black Lotus is hopefully. We will see Misty Rainforest for our opponent and passes. Well, we'll just play the Triome, pass the turn. I mean, his hand has a lot of good cards. We'll see what our opponent's doing. Oh, dear. Hmm. Okay. Living end. Well, oh, God. Oh, dear. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, this is not good. Opponent, passing. Birds of Paradise. Windswept Teeth, go. Opponent, cycle, cycles. Well, if they got a living end, we're super, super duper dead. Opponent, Shardless Agent. Cascades, living ends. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I got, well, it'll be a quick one. <laughs> At least it's quick. Uh, so, Kaya's Giles, in for days. Unmoored Ego in, guess, well, Supreme Verdict we can get from the sideboard. Maybe we want Unmoored Ego on the sideboard too, since we can potentially just Glittering Wish it. We don't have a way to discard our own cards, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so, do we want to leave one Kaya's Guile? So Vindicate's bad, that's not going to do anything. Like, if they, if they manage to pull off their combo, they're going to win. Like, we, we got to stop them from pulling off the combo. We'll bring in the Veto. Maybe we leave one Kaya's Guile? Yeah, let's leave one Kaya's Guile and try it like that. One Kaya's Guile for tutoring purposes. Well, all right, we really want a Glittering Wish, I think. Uh, no Glittering Wish. Mulligan. Oh, dear. Well, this is a nice fair hand of magic cards, but it does not stop living end. We will keep mulliganing. Well, this will keep, I guess. Did I navigate her to the bottom? Swamp to the bottom. Well, land and Utopia Sprawl on blue, I guess. I don't even know. Pass the turn. Fire Bluff Canal and... Street Wraith. Opponent passes. We draw the Kaya's Guile. Well, Windswept Teeth. Kaya's Guile gives us hope. Opponent. Cycles. Polluted Delta. Well, crack this for a trio. We need black, blue, green, white. Hmm. Yeah. Get the trio. Untap. Temple Garden. Untapped. So we gotta wait for now. We would like to. We would like to get down Omnath, but I think we need to Kaya's Guile first. And fizzle the first. And fizzle the first cascade. I mean, our opponent could have force and negation too, potentially. Cycle, cycles. And they can also just do it again. About it. Adapt. Cycles. Gemstone caverns. And passes. Well, we will pass the turn. 
awkward, awkward situation to be in. About it. Oh dear. Cascades. Well, this is it. Black, white, whatever. Do you have force negation? Um, exhale the graveyard, make a 1-1? One, one? No force negations, please? All right, all right, all right. Well, I guess making a 1-1 one, one doesn't do anything, does it? <laughs> the other modes don't really do anything either. I guess gaining four would have been better. Yeah, that is that is a punt. Although, I'd be surprised if it was a super meaningful one. Bone, it passes. Well, red, green. Wait, red, white, blue, green. Omnath, draw a card. Misty Rainforest, gain some life. Crack, Misty Rainforest. Get a Triome, make some mana. Glittering Wish, get... Yeah, hey, we're gonna take Unmort Ego. I think we need to, we gotta try to stop the combo. Well, I mean, our opponent could just reassemble. If they can like cycle, cycle, cascade again, that could still just beat us here, opponent. I mean, that's all their deck does, cycles. Cycles. Yeah, like, even this is enough that Cascade is probably gonna kill us. Flooded Strand. Another one. Cycles. Do they have it? Unmode Ego gets a lot worse once they Cascade here, if they can. Opponent. Passing, not Cascading. Okay. Well, Wooded Foothills. Gain some life. I mean, we gotta go for it. They can still instant speed Cascade, so this is still not guaranteed to work. Crackwooded Foothills. Get a another Triome. Add some mana. Unmort Ego. Please no Cascade in response. All right, Living End. Gonna make them play fair. Oh, they, okay, they drew a lot of their Living Ends. All right, well, we will see. Living End's down. Pass the turn. Actually, go attacking. Okay, opponent should have a lot harder time now. Now our opponent's gonna have to win like a real magic deck, which is going to be tricky. Now we are on to the find Garth stage of the game. That's what we want. Find the Garth, find the Teamer Ascendancy, hopefully find Deadeye Navigator, go infinite, opponent. Cracks it, cycles, cycles, plays a land. So I assume our opponent's gonna try to start casting stuff. They're also down to five. It's an island, opponent's passing, well, Hmm. Go to combat. Attack. Hit ya. Oh, we're pretty fine with this. Opponent bounces it. Well, that's fine, because now we get to replay it and draw a card. Garth. Garth, Garth, Garth. Teamer Ascendancy. One or the other. I mean, opponent kind of had to to stay alive, but... Um, well, we'll just play Swamp. Gain some life past the turn. Dovin's Veto gonna be less necessary now that now that we've dealt with the living ends. Opponent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Seven mana, five, five. Well, Overgrown Tomb tapped. Gain some life. Pass the turn. I mean, I guess it's not impossible that our opponent eventually somehow kind of beats us with random jank. It seems so unlike. Seems so unlike. If we lose to um, them hardcasting striped wiver rinders. All right. Windcaller even. I mean, we can kill that if we need to. Opponent's gonna go attacking. Hit us. Sure. Well, let's see what we can draw. Opponent passes. You know, let's do this now. Uh, Helix the Wind Caller. Untap. Misty Rainforest gain some life. Go to combat. Hit ya. Down to one. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. We need we need one point of damage. About it. Going to cast something very overcosted with cycling, I presume. Yes, Desert Ceridon. It's so funny when you see watch a degenerate graveyard deck get shut down. It's just it's it's kind of hilarious. Wait, can we win next turn with these fetch lands? Oh yeah, I think we do. So Misty crack it. Yeah, I think we can just fetch our way to an Omnath victory. Well, not a not the most exciting win. Yeah, trigger one, gain some life. Trigger two, make some mana. Trigger three for ya. And well, <laughs> I guess we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Not the most Garthian of victories, but we managed to stop the the living ends. Well, run it back. Gonna be tougher with our opponent on the play. We're gonna need like a, a Birds of Paradise, I think, into a hate card. Or our opponent can just race. Um, we will not keep this hand. This hand does not stop a living end. This hand, try it. We'll try it. We'll see. Botanical Sanctum. Opponent passing. Uh, well, Forest, Utopia Sprawl on White. Is it going to be fast enough? Cycles. Spire Bluff can nail. Passes. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Well, Glittering Wish. Get a Kaya's Guile. 
Misty Rainforest. Go. Well, we'll see how far our opponent can get ahead already. If they can do it right now, they can do it before we can stop them. Oh, that's a lot of power. That is a lot of power. Opponent. Oh no, even more. Ay ay ay. Untaps. Polluter Delta. Yeah. You can see the play draw difference. Our three man answer is too slow if we're on the play or on the draw, but fast enough if we're on the play. Violent Outburst, gets all their stuff. Yeah, so I don't know if there's any way we can win now, honestly. So opponent gets to Living End, makes a huge board full of stuff. We draw a Stomping Ground. So in Kaya's, yeah. Well, oh, we made it close. We made it close at least. Against Thoughts time, we are trying to make Infinite Black Lotai in Modern. Ooh. Ooh, 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 this sounds kind of spicy. Yeah, let's keep the helix. So we got turn one, Birds of Paradise. Turn two, uh-oh, don't thought sees us. Ignoble hire. All right, so opponent appears to be junding. Well, Misty, crack it. We will get a Stomping Grounds, Untapped, and Birds of Paradise. Go. Twilight Mire for our opponent. Wall oh, it's the Yagmoth combo deck. All right, Wall of Roots. Young Wolf goes attacking. Ooh. Well, we are potentially close to being dead. We will play Renin Six. Snipe Ignoble Hierarch. Misty Rainforest. Yeah. Yeah, definitely concerned about a Yagmoth coming down. Opponent goes combat. Gonna hit the Ren in six. Sure. Doesn't kill it though. Down to one. Herborg. And another Wall of Fruits. Alright, alright, alright. Not dead yet. And Charles Messenger. Ooh. That does leave us dead to our opponent hitting a, a Yagmoth. Drop to 13. Untap. Get back. Misty Rainforest. Play General Ferris. Misty Rainforest and hope we live. I mean, if we live, we can have a pretty good turn next turn. But if they have Yagmoth, they combo us. What do you got opponent? Okay, Yagmoth, sack, 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 infinite, 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 and dead. Well, that's what our opponent's deck's trying to do. We will bring in two Kaya's Guiles, and that might be about it. Go down a Vindicate. Go down a... Maybe one Glittering Wish. Try it like that. All right, well, we'll play first. Now we'll keep. Kaya's Guile's pretty good. Well, Forest and Utopia Sprawl on probably just black, I guess. Pass the turn. Overgrown Tomb, Ignoble Hire. When it passes. Well, Misty, crack it. Get a Stomping Grounds, I think. Untapped. Utopia Sprawl on white. Kaya's Guile. Get rid of the High Arc. Mega 1 1. A very painful version of Bolt of Birds. <laughs> Pass the turn. Well, we would love to find a Garth. Garth would be spectacular here. Overgrown Tube for our opponent. Untapped down to 16. Another Noble High Arc. And a Young Wolf. Garth? That's Garth. Land untapped. Red. Blue. Green, white, black. Garth. Okay. Well, that's what we're trying to do. Hit ya. Oh, uh, boot it. Well, we can't start Garthing. We do have the Deadeye Navigator. We do not have haste, though. That is the last piece for making infinite black lotuses. <laughs> oh, about it. Eldritch Evolutions. Okay. Sacks the Young Wolf to get a what? Giraffe's Messenger. Sure. Opponent. Passing. We draw. Haste. Renin 6. Shivan Dragon, Black Lotus, Terra Regrowth. Well, I think we green red. Renin 6. King Ignoble Hierarch. Garth. Make a Terror. Kill the Young Wolf. And okay. Well, immediate threats dealt with. About it. Combat. Goes after Renin 6. Well, we will block. Eav my opponent passes. Come on, way to find haste. Well, Ren and Six. Get back Misty Rainforest. Play Misty Rainforest. Crack it. Get a island. Garth. Make a... Wow, can we just Brain Geyser? I don't think we can lose this turn. Actually, we could. Hmm. All right, let's just make a Black Lotus. Make a Black Lotus. Cast a Black Lotus. Kai is Guile. Get rid of the Messenger. Exile the graveyard. Let's pass the turn. Pass the turn. <laughs> pass the turn. We're so close. We're so close. Opponent. Uh-oh. 
cord X. Okay, they're gonna cord for a Dryad Arbor, sure. Finds a land, goes to combat. Gonna hit Ren and Six, sure. And, all right, there's Yogmoth. Opponent passes. Triome. Well, Ren and Six. Ping the Dryad Arbor. Yeah, opponent sacks. Garth for Regrowth. Regrowth, Kaya Skyle. Vindicate, Yogmoth. Triome. Pass the turn. Come on, haste. That's it. We need Glimmer. We need to draw Teamer Ascendancy. Any of that stuff. Another Yogmoth. Opponent passes. Haste. Vanishing first. Well, we will run in six. Get back the land. Vanishing first. Get rid of Yogmoth. Misty. Crack the Black Lotus for blue. Garth. Brain Geyser. Target ourselves. Refill. Try to find the haste to close out the game with the combo. Draw seven. All right, no haste. Discard and discard. About it. Stranger Geist. Gonna get rid of our Renin Six, I assume. Sure. We got a shot. We got a shot. Pona gets and hits us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Renin Six down. We're running out of Garth activations. We just need haste. Um, well, Crack Misty Rainforest. Get a Overground Tomb tapped. What do we got left? A Disenchant and a Disenchant and a Shivan Dragon. Well, we will play Birds of Paradise. We will play the Landeth in the deck. We will crack the Landeth in the deck down to 10. Breeding Pool tapped. We will cycle a Triome past the turn. Another Strain Group Geist. And passes. Well, we will cycle a Triome. There's Glittering Wish. Okay. Okay, okay. Can we do it this turn? White, green. Glittering Wish. Yes. Teamer Ascendancy. Oh, we need one more turn. We need one more turn. Teamer Ascendancy. Temple Garden. Tapped. All right. One more turn. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. About it. Young Wolf. If it Black Lotus is. All right. I think it happened. So, we play the land untapped. Doesn't really matter. We play a Deadeye Navigator. We will draw a card. We will Soul Bond. We will Blink Garth. We will make a Black Lotus. Cast a Black Lotus. Sack it. Blink Garth. Comes back into play. Soul Bond. Black Lotus. And then we just got to do this enough times that we kill our... I mean, this is this is infinite everything. This is infinite everything. We can make infinite Shivan Dragons. We can make our opponent draw their entire deck. Make a Black Lotus. Because every time we're doing this, we're gaining a mana. So eventually, we're going to have hundreds of mana floating. And then we can activate Algar's other modes an infinite number of times. And make infinite dragons and infinite everything else. Cast it. Sack it. Exile it. Soul Bond. Black Lotus. Make a Black Lotus. So we keep making Black Lotuses. A lot of black lotuses. So we make a black lotus. We make a black lotus. Cast it. Black lotus. Black lotus. All right, so we have four black lotuses on the battlefield at the moment. Sack them all for blue. Sack, 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 sack. <laughs> Untap it. So we're up to 13 mana momentarily. Oh my god. This combo does take a lot of clicks. We're probably going to time out. Well, black lotus. Cast it. I wish... Is there a way we can speed this up? Blink it. Black Lotus. Black Lotus. I think this works. So make a Black Lotus. Cast it. Untap. Or blink, rather. Soul Bond. Pair. Black Lotus. Cast it. Blink. Untap. Black Lotus. Cast it. Five. So sack this for... Oh, we gotta do one more loop. Sack for blue. Blink. Untap. Zolbond. Black Lotus. Okay, now we're going to go for it. I think we have enough. And this will leave mana floating in case our opponent has removal or something. All right, untap. We're going to switch it up. Partner. Tap it. This time, we're going to make a Shivan Dragon. The alpha e -ist of wins. Shivan Dragon. Cast it. Then we will sack. 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 Pump. 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 <laughs> it happened. It happened. Well, we could have went for the Brain Geyser win, but I think that this is just, this is faster. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Go to combat. Shivan Dragon. 14 power. Whew. And that is 
The Shivan Dragon, Infinite Black Lotus, Garth Kill. We did it. We did it. We did it. Whew. It happened. It finally happened. <laughs> oh. So what did we learn this week about glittering Garth in Modern? And overall, we went two and three or three and two of the deck. I know it's kind of weird to not know the record, but here's what happened. The last match, we finally actually pulled off the combo in game two and went infinite. We made all the Black Lotuses. We made all the Shivan Dragons. We've been trying for matches to actually pull it off, and our opponent was nice enough to sit through all of it. So I decided at that point, we were probably going to end the video with a big combo turn anyway. So I figured our opponent deserved a little reward for sitting through our massively long combo and just being super nice about it. So ended up scooping game three to the opponent, giving up some play points as a reward for sitting there through our crazy long combo turn. So I don't know who would have won the match. Three, two, two, three, doesn't really matter. The big deal is we pulled off the combo. It took us five matches, but we did get there. Finally, infinite Black Lotuses, infinite Shivan Dragons, infinite whatever we wanted. There was one other game where I think we would have pulled it off, but our opponent scooped before he could actually go through it and see all the cool stuff. So big shout out to our last opponent, who actually was super nice to sit through all of it. So the deck, I mean, is it competitive? I don't know. We did win some like random general Ferris games or like gain life with Omnath against burn games. So it can win. The combo though is what we're really interested in. And it is challenging to pull off. Like I said, five matches, we kind of did it twice, only fully saw it one time. So it is possible, but it isn't something that's going to happen super frequently. The good news is, when it does happen, it is amazing and hilarious and spectacular. Like, just seeing a ton of Black Lotuses on the battlefield in Modern is amazing. Winning with Shivan Dragon, of all things, or Brain Geyser in Modern is just so, so sweet. So, Glittery Garth. I mean, I don't know. This one isn't about the record for me. It's trying to pull off an amazing combo, and we finally pulled it off eventually. So that's been Glittery Garth. That's been our Against the Odds for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Did you enjoy today's Against the Odds? Well, make sure to check out last week's episode where we got a bit squirrely in modern with Chatterfang Squirrel General.